I see my boutique is anyway. To be I need to uh, do some business with you. My boutique has many unique items for the discerning customer. Sure. Do you happen to have any sugar bombs? Cause your your shop totally looks like it might have sugar bombs. You got stim packs, but no sugar bombs. I don't care about stim packs right now. I have enough of those. Um. Wow, you've got some interesting weapons. I don't think I want any of your stuff. What is it like living at Ten Penny's Hour? Ten Penny is a classy place. Sure. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Oh God. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. I want to hit you in the face. Good thing the tower was still structurally sound after the war. Indeed. Though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it. And he's hired security to keep us safe. But they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? I could kill a ghoul or two, if I had to. I bet you could. Talk to Gustavo. He could use someone like you. You could kill those ghouls in the tunnels. Get rid of them once and for all. Yeah, whatever. I gotta go. Until next we meet. Sure. No, there's only one person that I can think of that I really, really want to talk to right now. Besides uh, Tenpenny right himself. So let's go ahead and go to that person. And I believe he is right in here somewhere. There also should be some other things that I want, like this. Come here, you. Well, I'm hidden right now, so I should be okay to take this. Let's see, there's also another thing in here, I believe, that I want to take. Just gotta figure out where it is. Hmm. That is an exploration database, which is fine, but not what I'm looking for. Let's turn this on. Maybe I can see what I'm looking for a little better. I thought it was around here. Hmm. Random music stand. Let's see here. Little rockets. Could have sworn that there was a book in here somewhere. I'm probably just passing right over it, is what's going on. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Well, let's go ahead and check out this database. Hello, Daring! May the twilight of your life be filled with the same wonder and adventure as your youth. Let's look at people. King Crag. Good old Craggy, king of Rockapolis. He offered Argyle and me shelter back in the summer of 48. Unfortunately, there was a little incident with his daughter, and we were exiled. We sought shelter again a couple of years later, but Craggy didn't take too kindly to us, luring the slavers into his hidden underground city. That was the last time I ever saw Argyle right after he saved my hide for the hundredth time. Miss Penelope Chase. Miss Penelope Chase. Two-timing bitch. She got what she deserved. Destiny Chow. My dearest Destiny, Harlot par excellence, and the proprietor of one of the Blue Destiny brothel. Or, of the, whatever. One of the uh, loveliest women I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Sadly, she died from 
Chloria in the summer of 49, an event that closed down the brothel forever. <laughs> anyway, Argyle. The best manservant a guy could ask for. Tough, loyal, and a hell of a good friend, even if he did smell like a bag of rotten meat. But what's a ghoul to do? The last time I saw Argyle, Argyle <clears throat> was in Rockapolis decades ago. I know he's still out there somewhere. Uh, Harmon... Jurley, I think. Slaver leader and psychotic cannibal, circa 2250. See entry on Paradise Falls. Well, I killed that guy if he was out there somewhere. Places. Paradise Falls. The most dangerous dump in the capital wasteland. The slavers there would have bought and sold anything with a pulse. They still will, from what I hear. Back in my day, they were more disorganized, though. Their leader was a guy named Harmon Jurley, a psychotic son of a bitch who was rumored to eat the slaves he couldn't sell. That is nasty. Rockapolis, an underground city. Not a bad accomplishment, all things considered, but their leader, King Crag, became too isolationist for his own good. Okay, so I accidentally led the slavers there, and those bastards cleaned the place out. It was an honest mistake. Sure it was. Let's look for the Blue Destiny Brothel. The best damn whorehouse in the capital wasteland. Strong booze and soft women. It was shut down in the summer of 49, when most of the ladies died from Chloria outbreak. That's fantastic. Megaton. And I skipped one. Whoops. Whatever. Let's let's go here and we'll go to Megaton in a bit. Anyways, a city of the dead. This is uh, Underworld, I believe. Or undead, as some would believe. Underworld was and is a settlement of ghouls established in an old art exhibit in the Museum of American History. Argyle and I used to go there quite a bit. I was even voted honorary ghoul back in 51. I really should go back and visit sometime. I don't know if they would like you anymore. Anyways, Megaton. A town built around an undetonated atomic bomb. My kind of place. Megaton is pretty well fortified now, but back in my day it was even more ramshackle. Great place to grab a drink. Or broad. I hear Moriarty even has his own place now. Guess that shouldn't surprise me. That guy had been playing all the angles since the day he ended up in this country as a kid. Let's look at pests. Mirelurks. Goddamn walking crabs. Tough to kill, but pretty delicious afterwards. The outer carapace is hell to penetrate, though. <clears throat> good thing their face isn't armored. Argyle had such a good right jab. <laughs> Feral ghouls. Ghouls gone bad. Their brains had rotted through so much that they lost the ability to think straight. Argyle and I fought these hapless zombie bastards more times than I can count. I think he could... He actually liked killing them, saw it as some kind of revenge against God for his own situation or something. Rad Scorpions. I've been a lot of places in my day, and everywhere you'd find those damned Rad Scorpions. Rumor was they descended from Emperor Scorpions, which you could find in pretty much any pet store in the country when the bombs fell. I guess that explains their population. Yao Goi. Bears, or the Capital Wasteland's equivalent anyway. You're not going to find one of these babies balancing on a big rubber ball though. I can tell you that much. <clears throat> 
They're vicious as they come. Razor sharp claws, razor sharp teeth. Nasty, nasty temperament. Good thing they're on my side. Robo brains. I have to admit, I've always been fascinated by these things. Such an ingenious creation. A robot powered by a brain and a sexy dame's voice. Of course, I always had to wonder, were they human brains? Were they actually the brains of sexy dames? Or is it all monkey brains and recordings? Anyway, I got hit by one of their mind blasts once. Hell of a headache for three days. And I believe that's it. So we have read all about uh, Argyle and uh, his lovely master, but uh, his master is not here. That is the person I'm looking for, actually. So we got to figure out where the hell he is, because I would like to uh, to find him. Guess he's not in here. Hmm. <sighs> Empty mailbox. Hey there. Where the hell could he be? Yes. What's up, Edgar? Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Yes. Millicent. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. I wasn't Edgar. eyeing it that much. Dear, Miss Primrose works too hard. Poor girl. How is she ever How supposed to land a good husband Listen. if she's stuck in her kitchen all day? That's so. Are you even listening to me? He already ran off. I swear, Edgar, it's in one ear and out the other with you. Ugh. Hey there. He already walked away, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it is in one ear and out the other. Looks like she ran out after him. Is there anything here that I would want to take? So far, looking like the answer is new. A lot of no. Could have sworn there was a book in here somewhere. Well, I can take... I can't take these? I thought I could take those. Well, at least I can take a nuka cola. Oh, you can't take the fire hose nozzle, huh? That's fantastic. Where is that guy that I'm looking for? I don't see him anywhere right now. Lots of booze in here. I'll take these sugar bombs. I don't care about losing karma. That's not that big a deal to me. I think I've got plenty of karma at this point. And if I ever lose too much karma, I can always go and feed some water to that guy. Charmed, I'm sure. I'm sure you are. Where is that guy? Love letter, huh? What we got going here? My dearest Susan, I can't believe I'm writing this, but I can't help it. I can't hold it in any longer. I can't stop thinking about you, even when I'm with Millicent. All I see is your face. God, can a man be in love with two women at the same time? How can something so wrong feel so right? There must be some way to make this work, to make this right. I can't wait to see you, but I don't want it to be like before. It's different now, because I finally told you I love you. This is real. This is so real I can't take it anymore. I need you right now. Yours truly and forever, E.W. Which is probably that Edgar guy who was running off from his wife and that's why he doesn't really care to listen to her because he has better things to think about. And there's absolutely nothing worth taking in here. Oh, maybe there is. Do do do. Doink. I knew there was a book in here somewhere. Thought there was. Give me that. Got some more barter now. 
Hello. Yes. Where is that guy? Hey there. Ah. It's not where he should be. That's not It's not right at all. So yeah, I'm looking for a guy named Daring Dashwood because we're going to talk to him about something. But I can't seem to find him. Finding security guards just fine. But that's nice about to it. See you. Doing well, I hope. It'd be better if I could get my hands on some caviar, but yes. what can you do? <laughs> caviar, huh? These people are definitely, definitely spoiled. Let's see here. What do we got going here? Nothing I'm interested in. Alright, I'm up. Next room we go. What do we have going on in here? This looks like this is either a repairman's place or a doctor's place due to this. Probably a doctor's place. Just find daring. Hey, here we go. Hey. See how my karma is doing. Whoops, wrong thing. I'm still a saint. Doesn't matter if I steal a few sugar bombs. I'm saintly. All right. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. I'm surprised that TV is not broken at all. If that's even a TV, it looks like a TV. I'll take that. This is probably just the uh, just the other side. Yeah. All right. Let's go look downstairs and. See if we can't find Dashwood somewhere. Good to see you. Hello. Hmm. Good to see you. Tiffany. Evening. Where is Dashwood? Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Hey, Michael Hawthorne. Yes. Irving. Move along, please. Whatever shakes. Hmm. Nothing good here. Ah, hello. Generator access, huh? Oh, I'll take these while I'm down here. Might as well. Let's see, we got anything in here? We most certainly do. Give me that. Thank you. 